Hey and welcome to the daily Arsenal news show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arsenal reached second full agreement over a new player contract to 2027. Fabrizio Romano reports that Arsenal have reached a full agreement with Rhys Nelson over a deal lasting until 2027 with an option to extend to 2028. The player has verbally agreed to the new contract and Arsenal are just waiting for him to sign on the dotted line. Romano adds that the club are hoping the winger signs as soon as possible to rule out the possibility of another club stealing Nelson away on a free transfer. Sky Sports' Dharma Sheth wrote earlier this week that the final details of Nelson's contract were being sorted with an agreement and a principle already in place. Football London added that talks were progressing positively and were in the final stages with Arsenal confident the deal could be finalized. That all followed a report from the Daily Mail over the weekend claiming Arsenal had made a breakthrough over a new deal worth significantly more than his current £60,000 a week. Nelson had turned down at least two previous offers from Arsenal and had Brighton, Fulham, Aston Villa and AC Milan after him. League One club Nice were also previously mentioned as a possible destination but the boyhood gunner is now set to commit his future to the club where he got his breakthrough at 23. Nelson's new deal will hopefully take him through to his peak years. Nelson made just 18 appearances and 5 starts for Arsenal so far this season, scoring 3 goals and providing 3 assists. Yet, there was always a sense that Mikel Arteta believed in him more than that makes it seem regularly bringing him up for a praise in press conferences and prompted if it wasn't for Gabriel Martinelli's fantastic form and Nelson's mid-season injuries, perhaps he would have been much more involved in 22-23. Assuming he signs, he will now get the chance to prove he can be a regular. 22-year-old Arsenal player snubs interest from Real Madrid. Arsenal defender William Saliba has snapped interest from Real Madrid and is now about to extend his contract at the Emirates. The 22-year-old Frenchman joined the Gunners all the way back in 2019, but he only made his competitive debut in the first Premier League game of last season. Saliba quickly became one of the best defenders in the country and numerous clubs across Europe took an interest in him. Talk sport claim Real Madrid were one of them. William Saliba was one of Arsenal's best players last season. The 22-year-old formed a sensational partnership with Gabriel Magalis at the back and was one of the biggest reasons why Arsenal were on top of the table for such a long time. Saliba suffered a season-ending injury in March in the game against Sporting Lisbon at the Emirates and that can be viewed as the day Arsenal's title dreams got crushed. Now that the season is over, Arsenal's priority has been to extend Saliba's contract, which is set to expire at the end of next season. A number of clubs from the Premier League and abroad have been interested in him. Real Madrid were reportedly one of them, with the Galacticos hoping to enter talks to sign him on a pre-contract in January next year, ahead of a free transfer in the following summer. Saliba, however, reportedly decided to snap that interest from Real Madrid in favor of signing a brand new contract at Arsenal now. Saliba's contract extension is just as big a news for the Gunners and their supporters, with the best young defender in world football set to commit his long-term future to the club. The superb Saliba hasn't signed a new contract at Arsenal yet, but multiple reports have claimed that a deal has been agreed and will be sealed in the coming weeks. Arsenal will welcome Saliba back from his injury with a brand new contract, and that should boost his confidence even more ahead of the start of the new season. Fabrizio Romano says Arsenal now planning talks with £30 million man after Saliba deal agreed. Arsenal will move on quickly after sorting out a new contract for William Saliba, and now plan on speaking to Martin Odegaard about extending his deal. Odegaard, the club captain, was one of the players of the season last term as the Gunners just came up short in the race for the title. 
and despite having two years to run on his current contract, Arsenal are now planning on getting Odegaard around the table to sort out fresh terms. The Gunners are making short work of getting their key man to sign a new contract. The likes of Saka, Martinelli, Ramsdale and now Saliba have all put pen to paper. And taking to Twitter, Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that the next plan for the Gunners is to sort out Odegaard's future. Arsenal only paid around £30 million to bring Odegaard in from Real Madrid and that fee is looking like a massive bargain, now worth more than double that. Mikel Arteta is hoping to get Odegaard tied down to a long-term deal so he can lead the Gunners into the future. Arsenal are not expecting any problems when it comes to Odegaard's contract. New signings are going to be important for Arsenal this summer. We all know that, but equally, trying down a core group to long-term deals is also a big priority. In fairness to Edu and the backroom team, they are working through things quickly. Of course, the wage bill will be creeping up with each new contract, but these players deserve these deals and none more so than Odegaard. The Norwegian has oozed class since arriving and looks set to get even better. If Arsenal can get this sorted quickly, then their summer window is off to the perfect start. Arteta wants £5 million lonely back at Arsenal next season. Cedric Soares' Arsenal career may not be over just yet. The Portuguese defender has spent the majority of the season out on loan at Fulham, but apparently, Mikel Arteta wants the £5 million man back at Arsenal next term. Indeed, according to Kaya Kainak, speaking on the Arsenal Way podcast, Arteta is keen to bring Cedric back into the fold at Arsenal, stating that Cedric's experience and personality are valid at Arsenal. The journalist shared what he knows about the defender, he said, well, the reports are that he wants to come back to fight for his place. That's what we reported and Arteta seems to want him back. He is an experienced guy, popular in the dressing room, a good professional. Will he get the minutes? I can't see it, but Takahiro Tomiyasu's injury does complicate things. Arteta may want Cedric back at Arsenal due to his dressing room presence, but it's hard to imagine that he will be playing many games for the Gunners next season. Indeed. Both Takahiro Tomiyasu and Ben White are ahead of him in the pecking order, and that's before we even speak about Thomas Party as a potential option for the Gunners and the potential arrival of Moses Caicedo, another player who can fill in at right back. However, as many will know, being a key player for a team like Arsenal is about more than just talent on the pitch. Being a good character around the club is invaluable. And if Cedric is that type of player, we can understand why Mikel Arteta wants to bring the 31-year-old back to the Emirates. Arsenal have put money aside to terminate all full players' contract. Now, Nicolas Pepe will not be having a resurgence at Arsenal. The £72 million player has been branded as awful in recent months and as one of the worst Premier League signings of all time, and Arsenal are now ready to cut ties with the Ivorian. Indeed, according to Kaya Kainak, speaking on the Arsenal Way podcast, the Gunners are now making plans to terminate the winger's contract, and they have put money aside within their transfer budget to get rid of Pepe this summer. Kainak shared what he knows about the attacker. He said, When it comes to Nicolas Pepe, Arsenal have made plans to terminate his contract. There is space for that within the budget. They would like to get a fee for him. For clubs who are interested in signing him, it will be cheaper, wages-wise, to get him with a small transfer fee rather than a free transfer. It makes sense from an Arsenal perspective from both fronts. This just caps off what has been a truly terrible period for Pepe at Arsenal. The club's record signing leaving on a free transfer, Pepe is the personification of what was wrong with Arsenal for the longest time. A misjudged signing in a team that needed to study itself, Pepe was never going to be ahead at the Emirates. He hasn't produced anything close to what you would expect from a player who caused such a massive fee, and if he is indeed released this summer, he will surely be cemented as the worst signing Arsenal have ever made. This is a sorry chapter in Arsenal's history that needs a closing soon.
Arsenal up against several top clubs for a transfer of 24-year-old who favours Premier League switch. Arsenal are reportedly one of the clubs eyeing up the potential transfer of Galatasaray defender Victor Nelson. The Denmark international has impressed in his time in the Turkish league, and it seems he now has a number of suitors from big names in more competitive leagues. Arsenal could be up against the likes of Tottenham, Sevilla, Atalanta and Borussia Dortmund for the signing of Nelson, who have 24 years old, but it seems his preference is to move to the Premier League, according to Turkish journalist Yagis Sapanchoglu. Arsenal don't look in urgent need of new defenders after the fine form of William Saliba, Gabriel Magalis, and Jakub Kivior this past season, but there is surely always room to have more squad depth. It will be interesting to see where Nelson ends up, but if a deal can be done on the cheap, this could represent smart business for the Gunners, and they'd probably be the most appealing name for him from that list of clubs. Incredible player is said to ignore Arsenal interest, Amidi claims Gunners are about to make bid. Joao Cancelo is said to ignore Arsenal despite Manchester City wanting to offload the wing-back during the summer transfer window. That's according to the Sunday Mirror, which suggests that Real Madrid want to land the Portuguese following the end of his loan spell with Bayern München. Joao Cancelo is definitely going to be one player to watch this summer. It took many by surprises when Pepe Guardiola gave him the green light to leave Manchester City on loan in the January transfer window. Cancelo helped redefine the fullback role with the citizens, and he went on to help Bayern win the Bundesliga title in a dramatic circumstances on the final day of the season. It seems that Mikel Arteta hopes to make him the latest Manchester City player to make the move to the Emirates. Report from Football Transfers claimed that Arsenal are ready to make a £35 million bid for Cancelo in the coming days. Unfortunately, it would appear that Cancelo is not planning to take up the opportunity. The Sunday Mirror reports that Cancelo is set to ignore Arsenal. Instead, he may end up moving to Real Madrid. Signing Cancelo would have been a real statement from the Gunners. They had such an amazing year this past season. However, they have a lot of work to do to make sure that they do not go backwards from here. Strengthening at fullback is arguably one important issue, and Cancelo clearly would have been an outstanding signing. He is an incredible player with something of a point to prove after what happened at the Etihad Stadium. If they do decide to make a move, Edu and Arteta have clearly got their work cut out. Arsenal now stuttering when it comes to Declan Rice transfer. Arsenal fans might be expecting to see their club wrap up a deal for Declan Rice soon, but it doesn't look smooth sailing as things stand. Rice is Arsenal's main transfer target, and the player Mikel Arteta is most keen to see arrive this summer. However, while the Gunners have been confident of landing Rice previously, there is now a worry when it comes to the fee that West Ham won't. According to 90 Minute, Arsenal do have some confidence they can get the deal for Rice done eventually. However, as it stands, the Gunners are unwilling to pay what West Ham want and are at risk of opening the door for other clubs to make their move. 90 Minute reports how West Ham have placed a £100 million asking price on the head of Rice, but Arsenal don't want to pay that at the moment and are looking more towards an £80 million bid with some add-ons. Of course, Arsenal's hesitancy could see the likes of Manchester City, Chelsea or Liverpool make their move, while Manchester United are also admirers of the Hammers' ace. Rice led West Ham to European glory in midweek as he signed off in style. This was always going to be Arsenal's problem heading into the summer. They do have deep pockets themselves, but with the fantastic rise and such demand, West Ham know they can ask for a huge money. £100 million is massive, massive money for Arsenal. However, it does beg the question that if you are willing to go to £80 million, then why not just put the extra £20 million in as well? For Arsenal fans, this will be a worry. And if they do somehow miss out on rice after so much groundwork has been done, it will feel bitterly disappointing. 
I will be uploading daily Arsenal news. So keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.